Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're replacing the rear blower motor on the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country, so stay tuned. Yeah! yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. As I said, we're replacing the rear blower motor on the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country today. Now, guys, we all know how terrible it is if the rear blower or the front blower motor goes out. <clears throat> now, you will not get any heat or air conditioning because this cage right here spins, causing the airflow. So this thing is spinning really quick. Right, but uh, man, if this motor goes out, it's toast. Now, this thing I picked it up on Amazon, and I'm gonna throw the link in the description down below, guys. As every video, okay, every video, I put the links to Amazon or wherever I got the part from because I did the reviews, uh, and not did the reviews on it I read through the reviews I double checked with the company to make sure that they were gonna be a good part before I tell you guys hey this is the part you should get <clears throat> so that's why I go through that I do get commissions off of the parts but that goes to the channel to get better uh, microphones better lighting it just enhances your viewing experience altogether because and I love making these videos for you guys. It's really fun. So, you know what, enough talk. Let's get into this thing because uh, today is 104 and my kids are tired of sitting in the back of the van without the air. So let's tackle it, save you some money, save me some money, and uh, we all get some good air conditioning in this hot summer. So let's jump to it. All right, here we are guys. The tools we are going to need starting from the left to the right. Uh, we need a 10 millimeter. I used a 6 inch extension on a 3 8 ratchet. Next, we'll need a 13 16, a, a T25, a T50, and uh, our trim set tool, and a Phillips screwdriver. I used a drill, but as long as you have a Phillips screwdriver, you are good to go. Yeah, as you can see here guys, we have the new blower motor. Uh, right behind that is the plastic quarter panel on the interior that we will need to remove. Now a lot of uh, how-to videos on this want you to remove the seats. Thankfully we do not have to do that because these seats fold down and flip up and go into the floor and all that. So we need to get those. Right off the bat, uh, Looking at the back here, we have the screws at the top, we have two seat belts, and we have the luggage hold down in the back. Next, we have to take the cup holder out. With using your trim tool set, it is going to just pop up. So put it, the trim tool set under it and pop it up. Do not try to manhandle it, and remember where the clips come out. On the back trim piece is just the same. Put the trim tool under it, pop it up. Remember on the left and right, you're gonna have plastic flanges that you will need to uh, put the plastic flanges under those when reinstalling. Next, we got this back piece. You see right there at the top, there is a Phillips screw in there after you pop the little cap off. Sorry about that, I was trying to get in there so you guys could see the Phillips screw, but unfortunately it, it didn't show. So, you're gonna have to pop the cap off the left and the right to uh, get to the screws. And of course, Xavier wanted to make a, uh, you know, an entrance. But, use your trim tool, the smallest one, go ahead and pop those caps off and then use your Phillips a screwdriver to unscrew those. As you see, the trim piece just comes right out. You do not have to take that seat belt off. It will come right through the trim piece. Just take that, put it over to the side, put the screws and the caps that you took off of it with that piece so you know that's the piece it goes with. So you see right there, hold on just a second, let me get a clear shot for you guys. So you got one at the top, that cap, 
It is a push pin. Use your uh, Trisalto trim, trim tool set, the one we usually use uh, with the blue and black. Pop those two off. Be careful, you do not want to break those guys. After you remove that, it will actually show you the air duct that is under that. That air duct, once you actually get that bottom plastic piece off, it's actually just going to come right off, so no worries there. If you guys are trying to gain access to your 6x9 uh, speaker in the back, that piece right there, I'm going to point at it real quick, is just going to pop off with a trim tool set as well. You do have two screws after you remove that. Next, we're going to have to take care of both your seat belts at the bottom, okay? One's going to be a T50, that one right there, and the other one is going to be a 13 16 Now, all you're going to do is you're going to put your finger in there like that, you're going to pull it towards you, and then push it up, okay? That is how you're going to access those bolts. Too easy, guys. And then the 13 16 one is right there. Now I know this disassembly is going rather quickly today, but feel free to pause it uh, if you need to, guys. So as I said, T50 for the front seat belt at the bottom. The other one is a 13 16 right there. And as you see, Xavier's trying to sneak in the back. <laughs> All right, so take those two seat belts off. And that will be that piece right there. So too easy to... Now on this uh, nut that they put on your seat belt, it's not your normal type of nut. It's a deep nut, and it's gonna take you a second to get it off of there. But when reassembling, make sure that you put both the T50 bolt for the front and the 13 16 nut for the back, back on there tightly, okay? Because it is for your seat belt, guys. You definitely don't want those to be loose. You know, there's no reason why we can't all be safe. All right, that nut is off there, and you see that right there? It's got a little bit of a sleeve, guys. It's just going to fit on that bolt when uh, putting it back in. Uh, here is the front T50. It is a bolt. It is not a nut. It is a bolt, and the easiest way to access it, uh, besides, you know, doing that, what I'm doing, because I wanted to give you a good shot, you can uh, fold your seat down. And if you do that, you'll have plenty of access room to that bolt and plastic pieces. Remember, lefty tidy, <laughs> lefty loosey, righty tidy. You see right there, it's a bolt. You're just going to hang it right there, guys. You don't have to move it out of the way. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so just move it out of your way. Once you get those two seat belts out of the way, those two trim pieces right there, as you see, there's those two. Uh, Phillips screws I was telling you guys about you're going to use your drill or your Phillips screw whichever one you have and go ahead and take those out once you have those out you can actually move the uh, big plastic uh, quarter panel out of your way you do have a wire harness right there it is a push clip so make sure you push the tab to uh, take it off okay and there you go there is your entire rear HVAC system uh, you can move the plastic piece just out a little. I wanted to show you guys where it was, but I'm going to go ahead and flip the front seat down so I can actually move it entirely out as you see there, guys. And if you see as well, I'm never taking those seat belts off because I don't want to have to reroute and all that junk. I just want to move them a little out of the way. So you have two ducts. You have one that goes to the top and one goes to the front. Okay, uh, I'm gonna point them out real quick. There they are. And just in case you need to see it here, that duck goes back up there. And not like that, I actually have it upside down, but it goes uh, in that position, guys. 
so the foam will go at the top uh, when putting that back in. You do have three bolts holding your blower motor on. It, it They are T20. So you'll need a T20 torque bit. Okay, go ahead and loosen those three off and that will take your blower motor entirely out. Now you do have a wire harness on the far side. If you're looking at the blower motor just like this, it's gonna be on your right side bottom is a wire harness. So do not pull it without unplugging that wire harness first. You see right there? And of course, there's a wire harness on it right there, guys. That wire harness is also a push tab, okay? You see it right there. All you're gonna do is push that tab down and pull out. Do not pull on the wires, pull on the plastic tab itself. And there you go, your blower motor's out. Can you believe a repair shop is going to charge you hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do exactly what you just did in about 20 minutes, okay? In and out entirely, even messing with Xavian, right? We're looking at like a 30 minute job, okay? Make sure the blower motors are the same, line them up. See that the wire harness plugs are in the same spot and the screws, and all you're gonna do is put it right back in, line up the bolt holes, Put the bolts back in and re-plug the blower motor back in. All right, once you actually have the new motor in, you can reassemble it. Make sure you put all the pieces back in. And if you have to put a little tape around that vent, uh, so be it, it happens. It gets loose. Hey guys, now wasn't that easy? I mean, look at this old blower motor. That thing is toast. I mean, it, it looks like it, it burnt up, didn't it? I mean, it must have been in there forever, but I'm sure the normal color on it was black. But hey, the motor was gone. Got it replaced. Now I got the new one in there. Guys, remember, you want to make sure you tighten both the seat belts at the bottom where you took them off. You want it nice and snug. I gave you all the tools that you need. Any of the parts that you need for the repair can be found in the description down below. Guys, as always, I love, I love, I love seeing new subscribers. So if you're looking for more auto DIY to save yourself money, then this is the channel for you guys, okay? Stop spending so much money at repair shops and start spending the money on you and your family. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure on the repair that you put everything back on that you took off. So any of that hardware that you took off on those parts, you want to replace them when you put them back on. Okay, you want to make sure you're putting them back on. And the easiest way that I remember all the hardware that I took off is when I take it off, I put it with that part so I can put it back on. I won't forget anything. It makes the reinstall a lot much quicker, guys. A, a lot much quicker. I don't even know if that's proper English right there. It makes it a lot quicker, guys. So, hey, I'm so happy new blowers working i can stop having my children complain about there's no air it's nice and cool now and 2014 chrysler town and country has thousands upon thousands of more miles to drive to see this country so guys thank you so much and until next time guys hey keep on wrenching take care